the person that I thought I knew uh, isn't the person who would do that, those things. And so I see it and I, I shake my head. Only on ABC 15, a friend of both Jody Arias and Travis Alexander talking about his experience with the couple and how he was pulled between the two. And we're also getting some new details surrounding juror number eight. That's the juror who was booted off of the trial just yesterday. But let's begin with ABC 15's Mary Ellen Resendez, who spoke with that friend. And Mary Ellen, Daniel Freeman, at one point I understand he didn't really even want to go on camera at all with his story. What changed his mind? You know, Katie, there was so much hate and so much speculation around this story and around these two very good friends of his that he felt it was starting to poison him and other friends of Travis Alexander. So at that point, he just wanted to move on. But after seeing how Alexander's character is being assassinated in court, he feels the truth needs to be told. She was like a sister. She became, she, she was part of the family. She was a friend. Daniel Freeman once considered Jody Arias a very close friend. But what many of us don't realize is that he was a closer friend to Travis Alexander. I see somebody who was a good man getting dragged through the mud. Like, we, we all have our weaknesses. We all have the things in our lives that, you know, we struggle with or that are our vices. And it's not often that we have all our vices and dirty laundry drug out for the whole world to see. Torn between his two friends as their relationship began to fall apart, Daniel tells ABC 15, Travis knew he needed out. When you are doing things or living in a lifestyle that conflicts with your beliefs to the degree that what Travis was doing, I mean, to me, that was why he said he couldn't marry her. And he told me that before. He said, I, I, I love her, I care about her, but I can't marry her. But Jody's spell was too strong, and Freeman said Alexander had trouble saying no to her. A spell Freeman himself might have been under as he tried hard not to judge Jody Arias in the days after her arrest. I would kind of defended her and said, look, I don't know if she did it or not, but I can't treat her like she has unless I know. And I, the person I know wouldn't have done it. But as Jody kept changing her story, Freeman began to realize he really didn't know her that well at all. I don't believe the story. But he was murdered. And, you know, she, whether she, she admitted she did it, she admitted she it's claiming self-defense, but I don't believe it. Katie and Steve Daniel was the one that called Jody Arias to break the news that Travis Alexander had been killed. On the stand, he told jurors that Jer Jody was very upset. He told us Arias was not only upset, she stayed at his family home, and he didn't see anything, anything that would tip him off that she murdered him or that she killed him. But now he says he does not believe her story. Now, coming up at 5 o'clock, we're going to tell you what it was like for him on the witness stand to testify against his very good friend, Travis Alexander. Also, the signal that he kind of felt uh, was given between him and Mar Juan Martinez as far as how, why he suddenly found himself becoming a prosecutor witness rather than a prosecution witness rather than a defense witness. Interesting insight. Thank you, Mary Ellen.